magnetic field disrupts 300 million pound island airport. Building a new international airport in, uh, on one of the world's most remote islands was always likely to suffer the odd teething problem. And we have an image from St. Helena is a 46 square mile island in South Atlantic. It had taken more than 70 years to and nearly 300 million pounds to bring the jet age to St. Helena, a rocky volcanic outpost in the South Atlantic that was the site of Napoleon's final exile. But islanders had not predicted a change in the Earth's magnetic fields, which sent the airport back to the drawing board just four years after it welcomed its first public flight in 2017. Since its completion, the magnetic declination of the runway has shifted. This led to thousands of pounds worth of changes to the 285 million pound airport on the British overseas territory. So this island belongs to Britain. Magnetic declination, declination is a difference between true north, a constant, and magnetic north, which changes over time. Shifts in magnetic north are now dramatic. The closer you are to the pole, and St. Helena is particularly vulnerable as a result of 20 degrees. Painted on the runway for a magnetic heading of 200, 200 degrees had to be replaced with a 19. Pilots and air traffic control were told to refer to the runway by a new name. The airport explained the cost of alterations was around 8,000 pounds. The project was implemented over a period when no flights were planned. Prior to the airport's opening, the only way to the island was a five-night voyage from Cape Town, more than a thousand miles away. The practical difficulties of building the airport on the island, which has a population of about 4,000 people, meant it was decades before it got the go-ahead. The cost of nearly 300 million pounds for one flight a week had left many skeptical, but it's hoped that the flights will allow tourism to flourish on the island and offset its reliance on Britain. Last year, 2,000 tourists visited the island, but it's estimated that this will increase to 30,000 a year by the year 2042. This is by Ned Kelly, today's article on Express UK. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.